Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your 60-second breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. In 1942, during World War II, Congress passed a law granting President Franklin D. Roosevelt, or any of his presidential successors, the power to temporarily shut down any potentially vulnerable communications technology during wartime. Uh, now, at the time, that mostly meant radio or telephone lines. But today, though, it could also include the Internet. So the Unplug the Internet Kill Switch Act would reverse that 1942 law and prevent the president from shutting down any communication technology during wartime, including the Internet. The House version was introduced by Hawaii Democratic Representative Tulsi Gabbard, while the Senate version was introduced by Kentucky Republican Senator Rand Paul. Now, supporters argue that the ability to shut down the Internet would be an unprecedented violation of civil rights and civil liberties during this digital era, far more than any mere internet regulation would be. Uh, opponents counter that an internet kill switch, even if it may sound Orwellian, is actually a necessary government tool during this nearly all digital era uh, as a matter of national security. The columnist and pundit Stuart Baker said, quote, I'm going to read from my screen here so I don't mess up this quote. The fact is that our entire computerized economy is balanced on a knife's edge. An internet kill switch is needed and badly because the president today has less authority over the vulnerable electronic underbelly of our banks and power grid than he has over deep water oil drilling, unquote. Well, at least it's not like an internet kill switch is going to be deployed right at this very 